here. Uh, thank you so much, uh, Bola, sir, and all the respected uh, professionals, educationists, scholars over here. Uh, today, uh, 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 first of all, namaste and good morning. Today, I'm going to present on making online English teaching interactive in EFL context. Uh, so this is the outline of my presentation. Uh, Actually, I will discuss some, uh, some ways of making online uh, English language teaching interactive, and then I'll discuss in some web tools and techniques. Then if time allows, we will uh, engage, we will be engaged in uh, some interactive uh, activities, then we will have a discussion and conclusion. So uh, actually, uh, when I observed some of the presentations, keynote speeches, there always uh, there was always a discussion on the challenges of online language teaching or online teaching. So uh, what I want to focus is that uh, this is not uh, th this does not have only challenges. It has much more opportunities that we do not have in um, physical or in person classes. So uh, there are some ways that we can make our online English teaching or online teaching interactive. Uh, so one thing is that we need to use gestures, keeping our video on, uh, especially uh, in most cases, I have found that teachers uh, teach online classes, keeping their video off, yes? So it doesn't make uh, the class interactive. It becomes monotonous. Another thing is that uh, we need to build rapport with students. Uh, through different ways, uh, through personalized activities. Uh, another thing is that we need to keep smiling during class, even uh, it is uh, online class, it is uh, distance class, and we can use emojis to encourage them. Uh, there are so many features in um, the uh, synchronous online learning platforms, clapping or reactions, different kinds of reactions can be passed to them to encourage the learners. Similarly, we have to uh, listen to students' interest and voice. Uh, we can provide feedback to the students' activities. The most important thing that we can do in online language teaching is teach, assess, and interact differently. Teach differently. Don't teach in the same way all the time. Don't assess the le uh, learning achievement in the same way. You have to use various ways and interact differently. So this is the crux of my, or this is the main um, uh, uh, topic of my presentation too, and involve students in interactive and fun activities. Yes, we should not make online teaching um, monotonous. Uh, so uh, there are some web tools or techniques that we can use. Uh, Google Docs, you can use Google Docs for online interactive, uh, online write, interactive writing activity, collaborative writing activity. Breakout rooms also can be used. Uh, similarly, Google Jamboard, PlayPosit, Edmodo, Padlet, Socratic, Mentimeter, Chatterpix. There are so many. And I will share you uh, the link at the end of my session too. So these are some of the interesting and effective web tools and techniques that can be used to make our language teaching, English language teaching interactive. So today uh, I'm going to uh, engage the participants in uh, activity, in an activity. Uh, first, uh, yeah, I would like to demonstrate just two um, uh, tools, how they can be used to uh, engage our learners in collaborative learning or interactive learning. Uh, I would like to share uh, one link in the chat box. Please go, uh, is it chat? Okay, okay. I'm going to share it to everyone and please go to the link and uh, engage in one uh, collaborative or interactive writing activity. You can, uh, yeah, I can, yeah. If you get the link, please write down some advantages of online teaching or weaknesses of online teaching, whatever you want to write. Yes. Did you get the link? Did you get the link? Yeah. And is my screen shared? Yeah, it is shared. Okay. Uh, yeah, please uh, volunteer yourself and write something on advantages of online teaching and weaknesses of online teaching. 
I can see uh, whether you are writing or not. No one has started writing till now. Yeah. The students can write at the same time. The teacher provides a link of the Google Docs. Yes, and the students can write at the same time. It can be synchronous, interactive online uh, writing activity. Yes, it is very helpful in, uh, it is very helpful in teaching English writing. Uh, okay, I can't see anyone else writing, please. Is anybody writing? I would like to request you to volunteer yourself. Hello. Yeah, if anybody writes, you, we can easily see just for example, uh, someone might write, uh, it is time, uh, yeah, time uh, saving, something like that, or some can write uh, weaknesses. Yeah, students can write at the same time. Uh, I wish uh, I wish the participants write over here. Did you get the link? Yeah, good. Yeah, you you can write in any box. Yeah. Great. Yeah, interactive. Very good. Time saving. Uh, some uh, I would like to request some others to write weaknesses as well. Yeah, great. Good. Uh, yeah. You, you, you students can be writing uh, this way. Yeah, limited. Yeah. And uh, if you uh, use the breakout rooms, then the students can discuss in group and then they can uh, uh, edit each other's writing as well. Yeah. And we can uh, have, a, um, we can involve students in a paragraph writing or essay writing. Um, activity as well, and that is collaborative writing, which may not be possible in in-person teaching. This type of activity may not be effective in in-person teaching. This is uh, one uh, of the advantages of online teaching too. Um, okay, thank you so much, keep on writing. Now I'd like to share another one, uh, use a Padlet, yeah. Use a Padlet also, uh, can be used, uh, user Padlet also can be absorbed for uh, making online language teaching interactive. I would like to share, okay, no chat box. Uh, yeah, chat box is not enabled here. Can I use chat box feature? I want to share one link of Padlo uh, Padlet. Hello? I'm not able to use the padlock. Uh, okay, uh, so I'm not. Uh, I'm disabled to write in chat box. Am I right? Okay, so uh, how we can do in a padlet? We uh, you can uh, create padlet. Padlet. Yes, you can write something over here, just like let's share our introduction. I wrote uh, my introduction over here. I have even uh, kept my video, 20 seconds, 22 seconds video here. And then I can share the link to the students and the students also can go to this plus uh, uh, symbol and then they can write their introduction, my introduction. Just for example, uh, students can write, yes, uh, uh, for example, uh, yes, yes, y -A -M, yes, uh, Sam can write, hello, I am Sham, or the uh, students can uh, post their film or video, they can share their uh, voice, they can share their um, uh, photos, yes. And they, uh, the students with this link can see each other's, can see each other's um, posts and they can interact, they can come pass comments on their uh, on their uh, colleagues post yes and this also can may uh, can um, make the classroom interactive they uh, especially uh, for writing 
uh, then speaking activities as well, writing and speaking skills too, regarding uh, English language teaching. So uh, these things can be used and I could not uh, post the link in the chat box as it is disabled. So uh, there are some references that I used and you can also use it, references as well as resources for the presentation. You can uh, go to the link given here. Uh, I could not share it uh, due to uh, the disability in uh, chat uh, box. Yes, chatting feature is disabled for me. So uh, thank you so much. I think uh, my time is done. So uh, thank you so much. If you have any queries, I would like to welcome and I, I would love to address them as well. Thank you so much. Uh, thank you, Pramod Subedi, for your nice and wonderful presentation. Uh, now, time yeah, is... the, now time goes to the question and answer. If you, if you have any queries, please you can raise your question and Pramod Subedi can answer. Uh, OK, hello, Pramod, sir. Hello. Namaste. Hello, Pramod, sir. Hello, namaste, yes. Namaste. Good morning, sir. Good morning. Yeah, just you have given a uh, very wonderful, you know, the uh, queries uh, about teaching of the online. But what my queries is, uh, is it uh, effective for all the levels of teaching in online or not, sir? Uh, yeah, actually, uh, this is, uh, I, I have uh, used it uh, for the campus level students as well as um, 11, 12 students. Yeah. Uh, and I think it's used. Uh, it's useful for uh, basic level students also. It depends on uh, the connectivity, uh, the access they have. Uh, yeah. I think you, you can provide simple um, activities for them, uh, yeah. and maybe especially for uh, yeah uh, from class five, uh, we can use these features, uh, these uh, interactive uh, tools or uh, web websites. Yeah. Yeah, and is it very much? Is it very effective for the beginners or nerds uh, teaching uh, through the online class? Yeah, uh, actually, it's effective even for beginners uh, if they have uh, access to um, uh, access to these types of tools. If they are yeah. used to using these tools, yeah. Yeah, yeah. It depends on uh, the context too. Uh, okay. In some context, even class two, three students can use these types of tools very easily and in some context uh, even uh, graduate students uh, feel uneasy using these oh, tools okay thank you thank you Pramod, sir. thank you thank you much. so much for your query thank you uh, and if you have other queries please you can raise here and promote to be the uh, answer for your queries if you have suggestion please provide Yeah, uh, I can share my link just now. Uh, so I'm sharing them. You, you can go there and post your introduction. I would love to see your introduction in the Padlet. And I would like to, I would love to share uh, the link to others, uh, the sources that I have used uh, for the presentation and that you can use for uh, your class as well. Yeah. Any query? Okay. Okay, you have not uh, any query then. Uh, uh, thank you, Pramod Subedi. Hari Prasad, sir, uh, uh, you can have your time for uh, moderation, please. Okay, sir, I'm very good. Mm. Uh, I think there is no any que query regarding the presentation of 